Ooh. Hello. <laughs> hey, what's up? So yeah, today we are going to check out a uh, VR experience that, in my opinion, deserves way more attention. It's called uh, National Geographic Explore uh, VR. And let's say this is one of those uh, hidden gems on the uh, Oculus Quest uh, store. It's an educational adventure title and where you set off on a thrilling expedition of discovery. And uh, yes, we are going to dive in. We are going to navigate around icebergs in a kayak, climb a massive ice shelf and survive a raging snowstorm as we search for a lost penguin colony. This uh, experience is suitable for all ages, by the way, and can be enjoyed by the entire family. And that's rare. I don't see many titles support that. Anyways, according to the developers, there are more iconic locations on the way, because right now you can only go to one place in the world, so time will tell when that's going to happen. Now it's time to uh, check it out and jump right into the metaverse. Ooh. Up here, it's me, Mike. Oh, good ah. to see you're ready. After 10 days cooped up aboard, you must be keen to get going and to make the most of your time here on the Antarctic Peninsula. The colony of emperor penguins we've been studying seems to have moved. We're here to find it. As you search by kayak, I'll track your progress and stay in touch via your headset. You never know what's gonna happen out there. And it's my job to stay aboard and keep you and the other explorers safe. Remember, your kayak will be carried forward by the tide, so it should be easy going. It's a bit misty out here on the open water, but it'll clear up as you head inland. Okay, get in the kayak, and off you go! Thanks. How would you like to play? Sit on floor or keep standing? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a funny picture uh, right there. Okay, let's uh, get into a uh, position. Immersion uh, overload. Oh, hey. Hello. Wow. It's so quiet out here. So peaceful. Keep an eye out for other wildlife and enjoy the scenery. I love it out here. Will do. These icebergs are made of snow that fell thousands of years ago. Up ahead, you'll encounter the massive ice sheet they were once part of. Interesting. If you're feeling energetic, you can get busy with the paddle to speed up and steer. Oh, who do we have over here? <laughs> Good day. Don't forget to document your journey. Your photos will be a valuable addition to our research. I'll tell you more about the wildlife you encounter and the Antarctic environment as you go along. Yes, yes. Don't worry, I got this. Aw, that's adorable. Group photo, say cheese. Nailed it. Let's go uh, left. 
This uh, title reminds me a lot of Pokemon Snap, but way more educational if you if you know what I mean. Oh. Such a shame. It's really cool that you can decide where you where you want to go next. Gives you a sense of of freedom. Extremely careful. The penguins mainly feed on silverfish, which are about the size of your hand. Most of them are eaten by predators before reaching adulthood. Hey, those are some emperor penguins. They're probably hunting for fish. Maybe you'll find the colony up Oh, oh. Oh. We'll be okay. That was a a close one. This is so relaxing. And beautiful. Oh. Ah, what a stunning world full of wonder. There you are. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> I think they just want to play around. That's all. I'm fine. Wow. <laughs> Wait for me. These solitary mammals are called minke whales, and they can be hard to spot. They feed on swarms of krill, which feast on the blooms of plankton living in a layer of fresh water melted from the glaciers. There's so much to see here. Oh! See ya! So, it looks like you've only encountered a few hunting penguins, not the main colony. 
We were right. It must have moved. You'll have to continue your search from a field camp located on top of the ice shelf. Just let the kayak glide up onto the sea ice and get out. Okay. It's going to be a, a long way up. Challenge accepted. Okay. Oh, we made it. Let me grab my my gear. See the established climbing route leading to the camp. Time to get your climbing gear out. Yes. Roger, Roger. All right, time to climb up this ice shelf and get to the field camp. From there, you can continue to search for the penguin colony. Use the axes to climb up the ice. It's easier than you think. Just follow the orange ice screws to find your way up. Here we go. Wow, look at that. It's a minke whale and her young. Minke whales are much smaller than most other whales. Aww. Adults only reach about 25 feet long. This is an ideal photo opportunity. Cuteness overload. They're gone. Oh, we can decide to go right or oh, that's a that's a dangerous route. Let's uh, let's do it. Okay, from here you can continue climbing directly up to the next rest point, or to your left, there's a tougher route to explore. There are a lot of spots you can climb. It's it's impressive. Loads of possibilities. What is what is happening up there? Let's find out, shall we? Oh. Almost. Ah. Great climbing skills. You're going to need them to get all the way to the top. Oh, ugh. I see now. That's an ice fish. You know their blood is a translucent white color? Not red like you'd expect. These gulls are master thieves and probably stole this large fish from another predator. Well, you can have it if you want. I'm out of here. Oh, 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 Nathy. Don't fall. And whatever you do, don't go down. <laughs> so, are your arms feeling like jelly yet? <laughs> Oh. As you near the top, you'll encounter areas of brittle ice. Take your time, stay calm, and you'll be safe. Check that out. You've discovered some lost equipment. I think a team lost it in a storm last season. It looks like a crevasse and the ice opened up and swallowed it. Oh, the view. It's fantastic, but no time to waste. Oh, you can even go all the way down there. Wow, that was too close. Whew, we made it. So that was the that was the easy way. I think that would take you only like five minutes to to do 
Well, mine took me at least 10 minutes. We did it! Woo! I, uh, I think he spotted me. Got it. Yep, that'll keep it secure. Maybe check out the wall of boxes that flew over too. They're behind the tent. If you can't take the cold, get in. Stack it on top of the other boxes. What a mess. Well, I can't blame Mother Nature happens Good job. It'll be much warmer and safer tonight. Tent secured. Good work. Now get in. No one's been here since last season. Whew. See if that lamp is fueled up and ready to go. We still rely on kerosene out here. The batteries simply don't hold their charge in these temperatures. seem to be a sleeping bag here. Without one, you will get hypothermia. I'm afraid you have to go back outside and get one from the supply boxes. Are you serious? Okay. Uncle Hans? <laughs> what? Hey. Oh, this is this is much better. I should definitely uh, close these. I don't want the penguins to to eat my Uncle Hans. Oh, wait, I need to. That's it. Nice and tight. You'll be safe now. Sleeping bag and tent will keep you alive. Turn off the lantern and try to get some sleep. Good night. Hey, you're awake. Oh. The storm has passed, so you can continue searching for the colony. That was more like a like a power nap. <laughs> okay, so let's go outside. I can hear some familiar noises. Oh. Cool. Oh, that's a dead end now.
Wait, are you gonna? Oh, oh. This is it. This is our moment. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay. I got this, I got this. Finding the Emperor Penguin Colony. Your discovery will improve our understanding of these wonderful birds. Thanks for completing a photo assignment. Look around the base. National Geographic editors seem to really like your photo. There we have it. <laughs> Definitely want to go. Want to go there in in real life. Is that a, a minky wheel? I think it is. So if you take the right photos, you unlock all kinds of collectibles. I, uh, I framed the best ones I, uh, I made. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Did I do a great job or, or not? Would love to know. I mean, I'm a photographer in training. This was my first well, adventure ever. But I did, I did pretty well. It's just that sometimes you don't know what to expect and you don't know when you should make the photo. It's all about timing, as I said before. So yeah, now it's time to, uh, well, jump to the outro and uh, end this video. Let's -a go. And that was our expedition with National Geographic. I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, adventure. If you did, then be sure to slam a like on this video. That would be nice. Let me know you care. And yes, as I said before, going on an expedition in VR while learning a lot along the way is an awesome combination. This was a great experience that made good use out of my play space. One moment you have to sit down in a kayak and the next moment you gotta climb a mountain. The sense of scale is definitely present with the visuals and the sounds being on point. I only missed that on the helicopter by the way. For some reason it was completely silent when it came by. Um, anyways, uh, gameplay wise it's a bit wonky. Sometimes my pedals were glitching out or my axes were going straight through the ice instead of like, you know, hitting the ice. In that sense the mechanics could have been more polished. The loading screens were super fast and the transitions are super sweet too. Like you are traveling through some kind of portal or painting. It's, it's, it's awesome. It never gets old. Last but not least, and this is an obvious one, I do hope they are going to release more locations soon since this doesn't take that much time to finish up. There is some replayability since you can trigger uh, certain events or collectibles by uh, making the right photos, but overall you can do it in one run. The roadmap in this case would be nice so we know when or what we can expect next. And that's it. I will make sure there is a link in the description uh, below so you can uh, check it out yourself if you of course want to. And now it's time for me to sign off and as I always say, and I see you all next time. See you in the metaphors. Bye bye. <laughs>